Welcome to the Four Listeners Program. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thanks for checking us out this week. What up, everybody? I'm Spear, and on the mic with me this week is the Z-Man. What is up, Z? Fame! What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? <laughs> fame, 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 fame. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, on the other mic is the mighty Gantor. What is up, Gantor? Hey, you guys. <laughs> what? Fucking Goonies. What was that? That's what it's. That's what fame sounded like when he first started it off. <laughs> Go back and listen to it. Fame. <laughs> What's getting into there the both of you guys tonight? Jesus Christ! I was modulating. That's modulating. Cool. All right. Sorry. This week, something must be done about. I want to say celebrity selfies. Celebrity selfies. So a few weeks ago. Uh, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. The celebrities taking the selfies, or other people taking sl- selfies with celebrities? Other people taking. Selfies with celebrities because a few okay. weeks ago, that's part of the definition of being a celebrity is having to take these pictures, I guess. Right. Well, and I guess that's kind yeah. of that, that's kind of the point. I went I went to the San Gennaro Festival with a friend of mine uh, who is on the Impractical Jokers. It's a funny show. It's on True TV. Uh, and I know the guys. I know the guys that are on the show. I've known them since uh, we were all in high school together. And I went out with one of them uh, to the San Gennaro Festival in New York City in the middle of Little Italy on Mulberry Street, and there's hundreds of people, thousands of people, all crammed into Mulberry Street in Little Italy. And as you can imagine, for a celebrity to walk in there, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a grinder, because everybody who recognized him wanted to take a picture with him. And not only did they want to take a picture with him, but it was like they would chase him down. And I just don't understand it. I don't understand why people are so aggressive with trying to take a picture with a celebrity. And I, and I was trying to figure this out for myself. Like, what would I do were I to run across a celebrity that I really liked? What would I do? Would I approach them? What, what would you do? If, like, if you saw somebody. Uh, oh, it's, cele- it's happened to me several times, and I, I fucking I, uh, freeze up. So, I mean, I, I, was, at, I was playing craps, uh, and bus- just happened to be at Busta Rhymes' table. Busta Rhymes? I'm, like, looking up, <laughs> and I'm like, that's fucking Busta Rhymes. I mean, there's like this seven-foot-seven black dude with j- crazy dreadlocks and, a, and an entourage. You know, what do you do? I don't know. I don't want to take a picture. Oh, I'd like to take a picture with him, but I'm not going to go and ask him a picture. What are you going to do? Uh, you're you're, you're, you're Busta. My... What's that? You're Busta. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I was just like, dude, I was in the elevator with Gene Simmons. From Kiss. And me, this other dude... Gene Simmons and Gene Simmons Handler. And the conversation was apparently he got tomato sauce on his shirt and his handler was taking him back up to his room to get changed. And I'm just like, I'm looking at him. I'm looking at the guy in the elevator. He's looking at me. He's looking at him. They don't even acknowledge that we're even in the elevator with them. And they get off and they close the door. And I look at the guy. I was like, that was Gene Simmons, right? And he's like, uh-huh. It would have been real easy I... for you to, 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 to just kind of go to say, hey, Gene, love you, man. Yeah, but like – Okay, that's really cool. Like, he doesn't hear that all the time. Or you do, like, the funny thing, like, oh, hey, you, anyone ever tell you you look like Gene Simmons? Right. Oh, I bet she's never heard that one. Right. <laughs> and then the last one was, you, you know, my bachelor party. You were there, and uh, oh, Laura, Laura Prepon. Prepon was there. That's right. And, like, I'm uh, fucking Google, uh, uh, ogling over this girl because she's, like, she's on my list of the five people you're allowed to have sex with once you're married. And I'm at my bachelor party trying to be, like, oh, how do I talk to this girl? And I'm just, like, uh. Ten feet away, no less. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, she, you could have tapped her on the shoulder if you really wanted to. I would have loved to. Yeah. What do you, but what do you do? Do you shout out and say, hey, Laura, I think your ass is hot? Like, what do you do? Yeah, or, exactly. Hey, hey, Laura, hey, Laura, can I get a picture? You know? And I'm sure she'd be more than happy to do that. But, you know, she wants to do other shit. She doesn't want to, like, fucking placate me. Well, isn't that kind of the point? I mean, the, Laura Prepon or Gene Simmons was having a bad night. He got some shit on his shirt or whatever the fuck. You know, I mean, like, they're just going about their lives. Celebrities are people, too, not to put too fine a point on it. So yeah. why why would you invade their lives with your selfish need to get a fucking picture? Right. But, Ganthor, I mean, like, if, if you were – pick a celebrity. Like, who's your – like, if – for me, it was George Lucas because this is what I tried to do. I tried to say, well, what would I do if I saw George Lucas just standing 10 feet away from me? Like, what would I do? Like, wh- who's your celebrity for that? Probably Taylor Swift. All right, so Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is 10 feet from you without handlers or bodyguards or anything along those lines. But okay, good example. <laughs> Taylor, Swift, Taylor Swift is 10 feet from you. What do you do? Probably come in my pants. <laughs> He's being honest. Obliterating all, all opportunity to go over and say hi to her at that point. Because you're like, oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah. All right. So somebody less hot and and less desirable. The only celebrities I'd be interested in meeting are hot, desirable celebrities. I don't care about anybody else. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's say I'm celebrity. I'm trying to think of somebody. All right. Yeah, so let's say there's, the there's a celebrity over there that's 10 feet from you. What do you do? Do you ask for a picture? I mean, she, she, he or she is just standing there, minding mm-hmm. their own business, paying no mind to anybody else, doing their own thing. What do you do? For me, that completely depends on who it is. I can't get myself into the right frame of mind without knowing who it is so I can run through and see what would I actually do if that's the way it was. Let's not make even a hot, hot celebrity. Let's go with dude. You see um, – Yeah, I'm tr- that's what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of somebody who I would care about meeting. I saw Mark Summers. He was eating dinner. He was at the table behind me. Mark Summers uh, from Double Dare? Yeah, and from Unwrapped and Unwrapped, other right, network yeah. shows. Yep. And uh, I was like – you know, I'm with, the per- with, the, with, the, with a friend of mine and she's like – don't turn around, but it's the guy from that show. And I'm like, what show? And she's like, Double Dare. I was like, Mark Summers! <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he looked up from his paper. And I was like, hey. And he's like, hey. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> there you go. There, there, there no, was no, your was brush it. with celebrity. <laughs> Good job. Funny. Good job. You didn't say anything like What are you going to say? Was... The, fuck him, the dude's eating. He's oh, OCD you... too. He's like, he's another one. He's you like, said uh, he guys, looked you don't up from touch his anything. paper. Well, he looked up from his paper because he, he heard me <laughs> shout his name. Shout his name. <laughs> yeah, but you said he's eating. Yeah. Well, he was eating while reading a paper. He was eating by himself. Oh, that at this doesn't table. count. That does. You could have said, "Dude, your show was such an awesome part of my childhood." Thank you. You know, something like that. Now, you see, I wouldn't do that. Like, if I ran across George Lucas, George Lucas is standing ten feet from me, and and look, George Lucas for me is like. He's at the top of like celebrities. Jesus. Right. <laughs> That's exactly Dude, right. You're such an abused. <laughs> Stockholm syndrome. Clearly, okay, but but here's here's the deal. Like, if I were to go to somebody and say, you know, what you've done meant an awful lot to my childhood. Thank you very much for you know for inventing this thing and for bringing it to blah blah blah. I I still wouldn't do it. I still wouldn't even go over and ask him for a picture. Like I I, I just because could, of, because of nerves. I no because he's just doing his thing. I would say that oh my god, there's George Lucas. Maybe I would snap a picture surreptitiously, you know, like a click, you know, like one oh, of those things. You'd be a creeper on Yeah, I, I might be a little bit creepy. Yes, I would probably be a little Dude, you creepy. you would regret that for the rest of your life. Yeah, you would. Uh, all I'm saying is I wouldn't do it. Like, I wouldn't go up to George Lucas. If, he, if George Lucas was doing his thing, like he was reading something, like he's sitting on a park bench. I mean, anything. He, he's doing his thing. He's living that's his the, life. Yeah, the, see, that's the easiest thing. The, the worst would be if he's in the middle of dinner or if, you know... 50 other people saw him and went up and said something, and then you would be the 51st. I wouldn't do that. No way. I'm better than these chumps. No, I wouldn't do it at all. And I wouldn't be – and maybe that puts me in like – I think there's one of two categories. You're either, you're either going to go get that picture or you're not. Well, like, why I think do you it's... need the picture? Why can't you just say something – I don't think I would interrupt his life. I mean, he's just doing oh his thing. Oh my god, dude! Do you say do you say hello or excuse me or thank you to random strangers? Rarely. I mean, an excuse me if I bump into them or something like that, or if they hold the door open for me, thank you or something like that. Yeah, you're but interrupting their life. That's not an interrupt. That you say? Do you talk to your waiter or waitress when you're at a restaurant? Yeah, but that but we're but we're interacting at that point. But that's their job. They're working. George Lucas isn't working at that point. He's just sitting there. My buddy wasn't working. He was sitting there having dinner with me. My point is that it's normal to talk to people and to interact with them. It's abnormal to completely ignore them. Especially well, that's the if whole. You have a motivation or a reason to to interact with that person. That's gonna say that was the whole point. Is that like, yeah, I'd be more than happy to interact with them. I can't think of anything clever enough to say or in, like useful enough to say. Hey, I really liked you in that movie. That's stupid can't do it well, you and wouldn't that... say something lame but you would say something that that was meaningful to you like double dare was a had a profound influence on my childhood it's a big part of the reason why i am who i am today i pour green slime on my wife all the time <laughs> so hot look if i had the opportunity to like if i'm some in some vip area or like at a convention or some movie premiere I'm in the same room with, with George Lucas. Yes, I'm going to go up to him and I'm going to – I'll introduce myself to him. I'll, I'll say something hopefully coherent, probably not very um, – handshake, whatever. Thank you very much. And that will be a big moment for me, right? But You just said you wouldn't do that. If, I w- if it was – if the situation was geared towards me meeting him, if I had no other reason to interact oh, with him – You're such a baby. If, but if I had no other reason to interact with him, why would I invade his life? Dude, I was just at a conference last week, and the speaker, one of the founders of one of the 
the awesome new popular technologies that's coming out in the realm that I work in was there. And I sat down next to her and I said, I'm sure you get this a lot, but this thing that you created is really awesome. Thank you. And she said, oh, it's nice for you to say that. Or she said, it's nice to hear that. And that was all it was. And it's like, oh, you can't talk to George Lucas. Blah, 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 blah. People like to hear that feedback, dude. The honest feedback, not the But again, you're in, you're, in an envi- but you're in an environment where they're, you're, they're a speaker. They're there to, to entertain you. They're no, being they're there paid. to speak. They're not there to, to socialize. But they're being paid to be there. You guys are just making excuses for being a bunch of bitches. Let me ask you this, Cantor. You're a celebrity. All right? You're a celebrity now. And you're uh-huh. out with your, you're out with your family. Okay. You're, you're shopping. You're out shopping with your family. What are what are we shopping for? You're shopping for trying to get toilet paper. Yeah, you're you're out the, you're at the mall. You're you're at the mall. You're at the uh, the outlets or wherever you are. And with you're, your kids. With your kids and your family, and you're clothes shopping, and you're doing whatever it is you do with your family on a normal weekend type of thing. And now all of a sudden, people recognize you, and now want to either talk to you or touch you, or interrupt you while you're doing your thing with your family what do you do oh uh, that's a good question i don't know they come up to you they they come up to you i'm an introvert well all right well they'll they'll, this is this is now i come up to you okay you don't know me from a hole in the wall i come up to you and say gantor i want you to know that the four listeners program has changed my life while you're out with your family and i'm like I'm I'm touching you, or I'm trying to take a picture with you, or I'm I'm trying to shake your hand, or what have you. In the middle of cold and flu season, what do you do? I would shake your hand. You would? Yeah. I wouldn't. Okay, so now after I did, I yeah. recognized you. Somebody else behind me recognized you, and then three other people behind that, and now there's a line of people that are chasing you down the hallway to take pictures with you while you're with your family trying to do your thing. What do you do? I don't know. <clears throat> See, I can't I can't role play this. I can't imagine what I do until I'm actually faced with it, and then I would do it. And so the, I think the other big deal here is, is is how long have you been a celebrity for? Like, if it's your first couple times getting noticed, you're excited. This is fun. But I'm sure it gets old real fast. It, I mean, I could see that, but right, because it, it's got to get old. But then on the other on the other hand, your lifestyle wouldn't be what it is if it weren't for these people. So Yeah, and, and to, to my buddy's credit, he took every picture. He fist bumped everybody. And he and he smiled through every goddamn thing, and I was I was really I I'm conti- I continue to be impressed because they're all like this, because they all know that their fans are their bread and butter. Does he hate doing that? I don't think so. I think you know I think there's times where he gets what's the word annoyed. Um, I don't know if annoyed <laughs> is the right thing, but certainly it becomes something of a, an inconvenience. But he but he pushes past that to his credit. He pushes past it, and he takes every picture. He's polite with everybody. He's really he's the, all all four of them. They're really good like that. And he's been in some weird situations too. Like I was with him, and we were apple picking, and there was a whole group of people that swarmed around us. One of them, one of the people, actually handed him a baby to take what? a picture with. Handed him a baby. He turns around. He looks at me. She's like, he's like, she handed me a baby. I'm like, give it back. <laughs> 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 it's not yours. Give it back. We were we were standing at the urinals, and this one guy is now off to his right while he's taking a leak, and he's like, "Hey, dude, love your show. Can I get a picture?" And my no, buddy, my buddy just turns around and looks at me. He says, "Can can I, can you wait till we're done?" <laughs> you know? Let me tap weird. out, buddy. Let me tap out. I mean, this is how weird it gets. This is how weird people are. I don't know if I could do it. I'm I'm a little bit more I think introverted than they are, and I don't think I would I would feel as comfortable doing what they do. I'd like to try it, but I don't. I definitely don't want that as my lifestyle. Would you? Would you be afraid to go out? Um, yeah, I mean, no. then you got to start worrying about like, do I do? Do I wear a disguise? Right, a lot of celebrities do that. They wear disguises to go out. Would you be yeah. afraid to go out? Because we actually had that conversation when we were talking about where to go that night. We had a couple of different options, and I knew the San Gennaro Festival was going on. I looked at him. and I'm like, buddy, there's gonna be a lot of people there. I'm like, what? you know, you all right with that? He goes, yeah, it's all right. Let's go. But it was it was a conversation. Like, does it does it have to? That's what bothers me. I was bothered for him. Like, it has to be a conversation for these people now to have to. I know I'm going to go into a public place. I have to like strap up and get ready to meet the masses. That's weird. It is weird, right? So I don't know what I would do. Like I, for me, I I have a tendency to think that I would be a little bit more of a hermit. You know, I wouldn't go out as much. I mean, I've been out with these guys in Atlantic City and. 
they have they have security following them around at all times, just so there's a perimeter around them so that they don't get bothered. And that's that to me. I don't know if that's a that's a sacrifice. I think you have to make in order to be a celebrity. But why do you have to make it? And Ganthor, are you you willing to make a sacrifice like that, considering that this is this is your your life and your family and the life of your family and your daughters and the whole routine? I'm sure we'd figure out a way to <clears throat> to manage. I don't think anybody would care about me. In a positive celebrity note, anyway. So it's true. <laughs> <laughs> way to make him, way to pick him right up there, Z man. No, he's right. Who's going to be interested? I have the worst podcast voice out of the three of us. Yeah, but you got the sexiest microphone. Sexiest microphone, have... Gantor. Yeah, but it does nothing for my voice. Oh yes, it the, does. The worst podcast attitude. There's no reason for me to be a celebrity from a positive aspect. Well, maybe you're you the guy that everyone loves to hate. Be. Maybe. Yeah, you're the villain, man. <laughs> you're the you're... villain. You're the Cruella de Vil of this podcast. <laughs> you're Ina's favorite. Well, that's true. Thanks, Ina. So, so you go. got one fan. There you go. And she's a super fan at that. It's true. It's amazing to me. Know. that that The celebrity thing is amazing to me. And it's, it's amazing how people are drawn to it and how willing they are to immerse themselves in it. We've talked a little bit about this before, where people are drawn to celebrities for what reason I don't know. The celebrity, like the celebrity sex things, are always crazy. It's like the fappening thing that happened was that last year, uh, like Jennifer Lawrence and a bunch of other celebrities. There was like a couple hundred different celebrities got like pictures of themselves, uh, you know, naked or you know, like, like sexting pictures or whatever you call it, like naked pictures of themselves. Right. Stolen. Right. And then released because some dude was trying to get them to uh, pay money or, or whatever. And then he just did like four or five different batches of these things. I mean, just recently, Leslie Jones, she's a comedian from Saturday Night Live and, and from the, the recent uh, remake of Ghostbusters, had this whole thing on Twitter, a lot of race baiting on Twitter. Uh, and then her, her, there was a sex tape or some other stuff that was released from, from her. And she, she handled it all really well, I thought, where she just kind of rose above all of it. Uh, she did a little skit on Saturday Night Live uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, kind of just dealing with it in kind of an offhanded, humorous way. But the... The, the question becomes, why do those things have to happen in the first place? Why the obsession? And, and it's not just the obsession in a, in a, I don't know what's the word for this, in a sexual way, but it's also the negativity that comes along with it, too, because as much as every one of those people that were chasing down my buddy to take pictures loved, the, loved him and loved the guys on the show, there's also the other aspect of it where the pounding that some of these celebrities take on Twitter or, or Facebook or wherever is it's really it's kind of it's kind of unbelievable. Like, what does a person think when they're sitting in a chair at their computer or holding their phone? What do they think when they fire off a tweet to some celebrity bashing them for no good reason? Oh, that's, I mean, that's a whole different story. Be a of, lot of fun. Fun? Well, it's, to get a rise out of them? Oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, you talk shit on all the celebrities who are terrible that'd be awesome would you do that tell me oh for sure for celebrities i can't stand absolutely why wouldn't you why would let's, why would i listen let's let's say you're you're in new york city right yeah maybe you're at madison square garden sure you're up in the catwalks right and and madison square garden is full of celebrities those are the only people that are there right yep nobody knows you're on the catwalk Nobody can see up there, and there's an exit from the catwalk into the subway. You can never be caught, right? Sure. You're telling me you wouldn't pee off of that <laughs> or, or take a shit off of that or do something off of that onto these celebrities? <laughs> no! What? Yeah, you would. Dude, what? you totally would. If you knew you wouldn't get caught... Why Why would I urinate or defecate on anybody, let alone a celebrity? You don't like them. Who can, I don't like you. I don't. You don't see me hosing you down for no apparent reason. Yeah. If I don't understand why anybody gets all gets all in other people's face. If you don't like someone, just shut the fuck up and do your own thing. Who cares? Why do you got to tell them? I mean, look. I don't like Kim Kardashian. Yeah, you're telling me you wouldn't pee all over her. I would not. I would not. Bullshit. For what godly reason? For the satisfaction of having done it. I don't get satisfaction of peeing on people, nor would I get any satisfaction at all of, of firing off a tweet. Like just recently, Kim Kardashian got robbed in Europe. And, yeah, I heard uh, about that. And then Kanye canceled the concert right then and there. Right. So, I mean, did I get any satisfaction out of knowing that she got robbed for a couple million dollars or whatever it was? No, I got no satisfaction from that. Nor I think would that's I... an insurance scam. You think so? 
Oh, yeah. So why don't you tweet Kim Kardashian right now and say, I think this is all a scam. I think your whole robbery thing is a scam. It's kind of pretty cool that you the, the fact that you can even do that, though, right? The fact that there is this mechanism that you can reach pretty much any celebrity if they want to, you know, to actually look at their, their tweets, that you can actually communicate with somebody. If they were to ask a question, like if they were to start a dialogue, then maybe yes. But if you're just randomly abusing somebody because you oh, can. No, that's, the, that's the whole purpose of the Internet. Oh. <laughs> did you not? Did you never participate in a BBS? I've, or parti- IRC. I've participated in BBS's message boards, what have you. But there, I have, have you done IRC? I ha- not IRC. You haven't been on IRC? Not, well, that's what's wrong with you. Okay, dude. well, there's that and many, many other things, Ganthor. How can you grow up being our age not having done IRC? I don't know. If you think subways are bad. Subways? Like the people that you see and interact with on subways, all the, the wackos and the... the <laughs> The untouchables and whatnot. It's not that they're untouchable; that they're, they don't you don't want to touch them. Well, yeah, that's what untouchable <laughs> means. Oh, well, what's your whole point on the IRC thing? I'm just saying it. It's how you. It's where you go up, grow up, and learn how to be an a asshole. dick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sweet. It's like being on 4chan or or Reddit or you know something like that. Well, which is which is all fine. I mean, just because you have the ability or the capability to fire off and be an asshole to somebody anonymously and randomly does that give you the license to do so does that oh, yeah, say that's you got no if you, that, dude. if you can't say something in real life you don't say it online to a celebrity i'm not talking anybody, about like some random anybody well, what about punk ass little shits on xbox live well, that's why i don't play xbox live god you two are the biggest pussies well at least on the games that i've played so far at least on the punk- they you've never been trash talked by a prepubescent teenager i i have been trash talked by a prepubescent yeah teenager. and you never said anything back to them no usually i just mute them oh my god usually i just mute them because i'm not going to get into a goddamn argument with a prepubescent teenager you don't have to argue with them you just you just talk shit on them i'm not going to talk shit to a goddamn kid <laughs> what the fuck and they're gonna they're gonna school you on talking shit. You can't out talk, out shit talk them. Yeah, and then they're gonna teabag me totally. virtually. I have no interest in getting teabagged by a prepubescent <laughs> teenager. Fuck that. Oh my god, they'll teabag you anyway, dude. <laughs> no, no, thank you, no, thank you. I, my whole point is this: I don't see the need to interact with a celebrity, either positively or negatively, unless there is a reason to do so. I think, which one? I think Z said it. It's a great thing that you can interact with celebrities, especially if they engage you. Like if somebody posts a question on Twitter and there's a, uh, a conversation that's there or you retweet something and you start something else. I think that's great. But I don't see the need to start the negativity with a random tweet just because I can. I have better things to do. Yeah, there's enough hatred in the world. I don't need to be in that. Because then you got to stress about whether or not like, they're going to figure out who you are and they're going to come to your house and beat you. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need a celebrity just, coming to my house and beating on me. That's why you do it anonymously, man. Yeah, they can always figure that shit out. No, they can't. They're celebrity. They're dumb. They don't know what they, they're doing. They, they got people. What did we learn? What did we learn about celebrity selfies, about the intrusion on celebrity lives? What did we learn, Z-Man? If you're not going to do it in real life, don't do it online. And if you see a celebrity in the wild, just fucking let it be. There you go. Gantor. You two are a bunch of babies. Oh, my God. That's what I learned. You know what? That's like your default, what did you learn? That, that either well, it, uh, You keep proving, you keep <laughs> demonstrating it. I, I, have been, I have been a pussy or a baby <laughs> at the end of what did we learn. Dude, you're talking about how you wouldn't go up to George Lucas, your hero. I would not go yeah. up to George Lucas. That's surprising. I would leave him alone. See? That's what I would do. And if that makes me a pussy, so be it. What did I learn? You know I, what? You, what? All right, here's what I learned. I learned if you came up to me and asked for my autograph, I'd punch you in your face because I don't like it. How about that? There you go. You know what? I learned the same thing. I learned that I don't think I could do what some of these celebrities do. I, I, think, it's, I think it's amazing how people will treat others who they see on TV or in a movie or, or see them as something other than just another person going through their natural lives. And it's amazing to me how, how aggressive they get with it. So if you if you think that people are too aggressive with getting pictures, or if you uh, if you would give a 
nasty tweet off to Kim Kardashian, why don't you go ahead and let us know on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash four listeners or four listeners.com. You can check out the show on Stitcher Radio or on iTunes or on Google Play. Just search for four listeners and we'll pop right on up. And you can tweet at us on the Twitters at four listeners. We thank you for checking us out this week and we hope that you will check us out again next week. Thanks a bunch, everybody. You'd be like uh, Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. I don't know the reference. I know who that show is, but I don't remember the reference. Coach put me in in the fourth quarter. We'd have been state champions. Blah, oh, you're blah, talking blah. like you're talking like Al Bundy here with the fucking reliving his high school days already. I bet I could throw a football over that mountain. How do you, you Uncle Rico? I know who you're talking about. I just don't hilarious. remember. Oh. <laughs> Dope.